Good morning, good people. I'm Brother Mark Schenk, Provincial Minister of the Capuchin Province of St. Conrad. Earlier this month, Pope Francis officially opened the most recent Synod of the Church, entitled, For a Synodal Church, Communion, Participation, and Mission. Thus began a process that will culminate in a meeting of the bishops in Rome in the year 2023. Basically, this synod will attempt to improve communication within the Church in a way that will lead to a greater sense of shared mission. It's a very timely topic. Open any newspaper or news website these days and you'll find many examples of people talking past each other. We seem to have lost the art of listening to one another. Of course, the news media thrives on controversy, so they will amplify the disagreements whenever possible. Unfortunately, however, this inability to listen to each other or to treat each other with respect has even affected discourse among Catholics. As the preparatory documents for the Synod point out, listening is not the same as hearing. Listening requires us to assume the attitude that everyone, myself included, can learn something and that everyone has something to teach. It requires a fine sense of both courage and humility. We Capuchin Franciscans should be experts at humility, but I must admit that even we sometimes have difficulty in listening to someone with whom we disagree. Too often, instead of listening to what the other person is saying, we are formulating our next argument in our heads. Even when we do listen, we often interpret the other person's words in the worst way possible. What we are being asked to do is to listen respectfully to others, to try to understand his or her experiences. In this journey that the Church is on, we are asked to walk along with each other, not to push others off the road and walk on ahead. The preparatory documents also point out that a synod is not like a political debate where there is a winner and a loser and where the loudest voice prevails. The purpose of a synod is to listen and learn from each other, but more importantly, for everyone to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Each diocese in the world has been asked to develop a process for involving every Catholic, even those who have stopped practicing, in the preparation for the Synod. I know that several dioceses in the areas where we are present have begun to work on this. My hope and prayer for you is that you will participate actively in this process if given the opportunity. For the Church to fulfill the mission that Christ gave to it, we must journey forth together and that can only happen if we are able to dialogue with everyone in truth and charity. We are praying for you. Please continue to pray for us and for the whole church.